Now we've looked at values growing in value. Now we're going to look at values um, decreasing in value and the most common concept there is depreciation. Now depreciation commonly refers to something like cars that over time their values depreciate. Um, computers, you can't buy and sell a computer for the same price if you've been using it for five years, things like that. So obviously values decrease over time. And again, this is called depreciation. We get two types of depreciation. We get straight line method. The straight line method of depreciation. And that is just simply that is simple decay. And then we get the reducing balance method. We get the reducing balance method. And that is simply compound decay. So decay just meaning the value is decreasing over time. So those are the two types of uh, depreciation we get. And now just let's quickly have a look at the formulas. The two formulas is obviously now, uh, let me use F again for future value. The future value is equal to the present value, but instead of adding my growth rate, I have to subtract my decay rate. Okay, and this is called the straight line method. I'll show you why in just a minute. And the reducing balance method is exactly the same. My present value, instead of adding my interest or my growth rate, I will subtract my growth rate. And that's the only difference. Okay, so why is this one called the straight line method? Well, think of it as a straight line. It's as simple as that. So let's say I have a value of a hundred thousand rand. And I'm just using a hundred there. So I buy a car that's worth a hundred thousand rand when I buy it. So no time has elapsed. After one year it's lost 20% of its value. So now it is worth 80,000 rand. After another year it loses another 20% of the original amount. Okay, simple means I calculate it on the original amount. So I lose the same value every year. So the next year it will be worth 60,000. So I lose another 20. Then it will be worth 40,000. And then it will be worth 20,000. And then it will be worth nothing. So after three years, 40,000, after 4 years, 20,000, and after 5 years, it will be worth nothing. And now you can see why it's called the straight line method, even though my, um, my points aren't exactly on a straight line, it should technically form a straight line, and that is why it's called the straight line method. The reducing balance method, on the other hand, if I started, man, with the most ugly axis you've seen in your life. Okay, at least they were pink. Okay, so if I started with 100,000 and I lose 20%, it will also be 80,000 after one year. So I started 100,000, after one year it's worth 80,000. After another year, I don't deduct 20% of 100, but I deduct 20% of 8, sorry, 80. So 20% of 80 is 16. So 16, subtract 16,000 now, and I get 74,000, sorry, 64,000. 64,000. And it the point is more or less there. 
now after another year so that's first year second year third year on the third year I don't work out 20% on the 80 or the 100 but 20% on the 16 64,000 and that's 12,800 Rand and when I subtract 12,800 from there I get 51,000 200 51,200 so that's more or less there and I don't want to do all of it but you'll eventually see that this graph actually never reaches zero it will try and approach zero but it will never reach zero so this is called the straight line method and this one the reducing balance method because each year I use the balance which is reducing to work out my new um, amount that I am losing on the value okay so I hope I was able to explain it briefly in the next video we'll look at the two examples